things to him. You know, Don't worry, it, let me just it, pop that in it, there. It becomes like a garland at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, one second. Just, just pop these on here. There, 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 are, there are other things as well. It's yeah. like, even, even if I believe that God maybe did exist, I'd, ha I'd have to see uh, a lot of other evidence to convince me of the goodness of God. Because, yeah. you know what, there are there are lots of horrible things. Horrendous things. things. Horrible things that happen, you know. Yeah, the um, World like, War One, two happen because of religion, right? Well, you know, kids having cancer and no, shit. Let's go to World War. The What's major that? World Wars happened. Yeah. Was it because of religion? First World War and Second World War? Um, the first, I, not that I know. Of. It wasn't because of religion. No. Yeah, it wasn't war. So now we realize it's not simply, you know, our misunderstanding that, okay, religion causes war and yeah. so on like that. Yeah. We realize actually politics, greed, selfishness, politics, greed, uh, can selfishness, cause suffering. Right. Religion. There are lots of things people disagree about. Yeah, no, causes, causes suffering, problems in the world. Yeah, yeah, so, as a Muslim, I say God is just. The creator of, of this cosmos is just. It's given us a free will, and look what free will entails. If we weren't given a free will, that would be like robots. Then imagine someone wants to stab you and become butterflies. Um, then you would say, oh, where's my free will? Because the free will means giving you that domain in which you can operate and even if it's a bad thing, horrible things. Okay, I put this to you then. Why, if God is just, right, why would he give a bone cancer to a child? Okay. A child, you're talking about free will. I'll, I'll, free will does a child. Yeah, sure. So sometimes God tells us, because it's linked with the purpose of life. Yeah. We are not created here just like for the sake of creation. God is not someone who is unwise. So he created other creations even before us and created us as well and created us with free will, intellect, yeah, faculty of knowing right from wrong, good from bad and so on. And for a reason, not that we are here, we live and then we die and that's it, but purpose of our life is to then continue a life forever, either in a place of happiness and joy and bliss and tranquility we call paradise I'm, I'm coming back I'm coming back I'm gonna link I'm gonna link bone cancer with this question it's important to understand I haven't forgotten what you said so or we go to a place of eternal suffering and pain and misery and so on and so forth right because of free will free will entails that some people will exercise it responsibly wisely and justly and fairly and other people will not so they need to be accounted for and their accountability will be in a, a punishment and those who are good they will be rewarded with good so where does all this comes in in terms of bone cancer malaria tsunami and earthquakes and, and the things that you can bring in in this question yeah. it's all about God is saying look this life is actually a test and within that test you have to demonstrate to yourself whether you are worthy and deserving to go to those two places and for this test to make it into a real test there will be some loss of life and wealth and properties and and and, and so on and so forth in which god will test us god will test us even with for example laws and regulation to see whether are you really a believer and submitted to him for example muslim men cannot wear gold or wear silk wear silk now, people like to music, have dogs as pets. People, people, in fact, some people like gold and silk and so on and so forth. Yeah. But Muslim men are prohibited from it. So this is a layer of test in which, are you really going to submit to the God and saying, okay, God, you've created me, given me life, and given me a certain purpose in this life, and and, and 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 said, these are the do's and don'ts, and if you fulfill these do's and don'ts, then this is the reward or punishment system awaits you. So, part of this is this challenges in life in which we are said, don't do this. As you said, oh, don't drink alcohol, for example. And in fact, just to come back on the side point, I'll come back to bone cancer. Remind me if I forget, right, please. Yeah? Please remind me if I forget about bone cancer. About alcohol, when God prohibits us from something, it's actually good for us. God, out of all dietary stuff, what we can eat and drink, he only prohibits only a few things. All the rest of the things are okay. Okay, you can have it. Few things he prohibits, and he tells us things are which are not good for us, not pure, not good for us, he prohibited from. For example, alcohol, the chemical poison that we're supposed to drink, ethanol. Yeah. What 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 it does what it does 
it actually impairs your judgment. And if I give you want to give some statistics in from UK, the most of the domestic violence yeah. happens under the influence of alcohol. The people I work in a hospital, so now you realize why I'm talking about these statistics. In A and E, domestic violence people come because they're under the influence of alcohol. Yeah. So alcohol has a lot of problem causing. Yeah, of course, yeah. It might give you certain immediate pleasure. Doesn't it? Alcohol you yeah. drink, it and makes luck. you, and it gives you something like, you know, because you forget about it, because of what's happened, that it does. Islam tells us, look, the reason why some things are prohibited from it, of course, ultimately, it's not good for you, even though there might be some goodness in it. But the ultimate good and bad, when you outweigh them, the, the evil, the bad, outweighs the good. Yeah. So God says, but not good there, for you. There are, there are lots of Coming back to God, there are lots of other things that are forbidden that I would argue are not. Which are. Give me an example. Then we can oh, talk about it. But we're not talking about bone cancer. No, but give an example. Pork. What's the issue with pork? Sure. So. Like dogs being. Yeah. Why do you guys eat? I love, we don't. I love no, 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 no. We start it. about. It's not. It's not about. What, do you eat worms? Huh? Worms. I mean, yeah. some if people was, do. If it was fried up, maybe some people okay. okay. give it a go. <laughs> but, but, you, but, but you don't, you don't normally. I you, you, ha insects. you haven't been into. Yeah. What, yeah. Are, what about cockroaches? I've eaten insects in Thailand. They were not tasty. No. Yeah. They were not do you eat cockroaches? Uh, no. Right. So there are certain look. There are certain things people themselves have restricted I depending don't, I don't on. I tell anyone they shouldn't be allowed to eat cockroaches. No. That's very different. Saying I know. I and saying somebody else is forbidden. No, no, fair enough. No, I don't agree with no, no, other that's people. fair enough. But what I'm saying is our creator who created us knows us better than we know ourselves. So he told us there are things that you should avoid, like eating out of this few reasons, blood, dead animals. Yeah. So animals that has uh, claws and so on and so forth. Right. Yeah. And of course, that includes pork, pig or pork, whatever you call it. So you wait, can wait, see wait, animals that has Clo claws. Clo Clo yeah. But, but so cows have a cloven hoof. No, no, they have. No, they, have they don't have claws. Oh, oh, you haven't seen a cow. <laughs> I, know, I mean, I know that they have a full hoof, and I guess what is it? The split? Is it the split that no. you have in, yeah. a, in a pig? Yeah, he's talking versus about versus a no, no. Has pig like, is not because of claws. I am saying the categories that the Creator has given us prohibitions yeah, off. Yeah. They seem kind of. Can can we talk about this one? Shellfish. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. So let's let's talk about this. Why, why, why the Shia no. Muslim don't eat uh, rabbits? Fair enough. Because it does seem a little bit like yeah, um, this yeah, animal. That's it, that's <laughs> uh, like, yeah, yeah. I will uh, I will answer if you if you are listening. Yes, yeah. yeah. So the dietary prohibition comes from the wa all wise God who knows what is better for us and what's not. So the rabbit okay? is not good. I am not going to be able to answer if you are not able to listen. Yeah, but, but the Jews this received. Do you know what you're doing? From God. My friend, do you know what you're oh, doing? Sorry. Jews, no. Don't say Torah sorry and keep on talking. The Torah was revealed by God. I, I, think, to the I, Jews. Think, I think this man has let the guy finish his point. Well, I, I think he has a fair point. What, what I'm saying, saying is. The same thing just from a different no, no. Animal, right? yeah. What's the what, what I'm saying, I'm about to answer his questions and he needs to listen. Like you are listening, like a real gentleman and a real lady. We only got a few more minutes. I know you do, I know no, you do. Please. I, we haven't got all time, neither have I, right? So, dietary restrictions are given for a reason. Some of which the wisdom we may know and may be provided, other may not be provided, for example. So if our creator doesn't provide a reason, we know in general that there is a good reason for it. Like, for example, God gives the reasons why about pork, okay? Because it's not something that is, it's nudges. It's like filthy. Okay? So, oh, please, please, listen. If, if you were not accustomed to eating pork, for example, you would study the animal, look at the animal, how the animal lives. It lives in, almost like in sewages, and the way it eats and feeds and all the sewages and eats the, the feces and so on. No, it it's, eats its own feces and so on. And, you know, what I'm saying is, so what, what, what the creator said, look, there are hundreds and thousands of other creations that God has made that you can eat of them. Don't eat of those things which will have some kind of effect on you. Okay? So you may not realize this because it's a culture, it's a tradition. 
people have been eating pork for hundreds and thousands of years. And in fact, coming back to your question, Islam didn't prohibit pork as a new thing. It was already a prohibition from God to the Jewish people, long time ago. Yeah, and they've, they've been, they, still to this day, they don't yeah, eat yeah, pork, no, okay? Don't, right, it's still, it's it's still to this day. So, and, and various others. So something could be prohibited as a test to see whether you actually follow the commands of God or not, or you, you really say and you don't mean it. Do you actually mean it when you say, oh, I submit? Submission needs to be demonstrated with your limbs, with your actions. So some things God has provided reasons, other things if the reasons are provided, we can still know that they are not good for us, okay? Bone cancer, let's come back to that. Yes. What's wrong? Um, what did the child do? Yeah, what test is this for the well, child? No, what did the child do? We said child didn't do anything. This child will have its own way of getting into heaven or not by God's justice in the day of judgment. God is not going to be unjust to a child who has not developed the faculty of intellect knowing uh, good or bad. That is unjust to no, no, what I'm saying, this child having this suffering now is a test for the parents and the families. If he hasn't got Look, parents. What you don't realize is this. Okay. Think, no, no. You can disagree, but think about this. If, for example, I want to go to a gym and I want to build a body with my muscles, I have to endure some sufferings. Pain. Now that pain will give me some gain at the end of the day. So that pain is not a bad thing necessarily. Uh, you can no, no. You can justify your own suffering. No, please, please. I will. I will. I will, I will talk about. I will talk about the child in a second. So this pain that one undergoes, it's not necessary. In fact, pain in general. Pain in in general is actually a good thing to have. If there was no look, if there was no pain, imagine now. You know, I put my hand in behind, and the fire was consuming a hand. It burnt. Let me finish. And my hand is all burnt up to the shoulder. I didn't realize it because I had no pain. It would be bad for me. So when I have a pain and I put my hand in a hot stuff or fire, I will retract because it's giving, telling me something is yeah. not good for me. So pain is actually is good for me, right? Yeah. Right. A child, when it suffers, it's not good for the child. I agree with you. But what am I saying is this. That child, for that... Um, you look really like a gentleman like them. Try to be a gentleman like them. Yeah? I'm answering your question. Try to be a gentleman like them. Okay, look, I'm not being racist. I'm not being racist, but I'm being vocally straight and blunt. Try to be a gentleman like them. So, I am saying try to be a gentleman like them. So, let me continue. The child, because you might say so, because you're not white like them. I don't say nothing. Okay, see you later then. Thank you. See you later. I'm staying. Then, then let, me, let me continue because they haven't got much time. The child, what I'm saying is, the amount of pain that child endures here will be nothing compared to the joy of paradise God is going to give them. Like, like this example, the people will be, I mean this is a demonstration, our prophet said that. Someone said, look, you've suffered all this in this world, right? You've seen the good and the bad and so on. God will dip them for a moment in paradise. And bring them back. And they'll, God will ask them, did you have, did you experience, did you feel any suffering? Do you know what they will say? One dip on heaven in paradise, they will say, we never experienced any suffering. Never. Because that's the intensity and the quality of happiness, joy and bliss that awaits in heaven. So that, those people, who will undergo suffering in this life, when they go to in heaven, they will forget all there's, of that. There's a lot of trust in this, like it's all just, just over there. Just, just no, no. There. You can't go there and this, come back. No, this no is, one else can check and come back to you. But <laughs> my friend. Over there, it's all going to be sweet, don't no, worry. No, no, Let's go there. No, my friend. This I'll, is I'll the, come back and drop you at this, No, no. What I'm saying is, this is what we believe in the justice of God. But in terms of why we believe is where the evidence comes in. You can't just believe because this guy in Speaker's Corner who talked about, you know, in the conversation about your grandfather suddenly says, believe in it. You can't believe in it like that. You have to believe based on what makes sense to you and what evidence is satisfactory to you. Oh, you. So that's why we say, when we as Muslims talk about this belief, we say, look, God has sent from his mercy and justice a scripture, a book of guidance, along with raising a prophet, a messenger, 
to convey this guidance in a way that people could understand and appreciate. So last prophet, being the last prophet and messenger, his name is Muhammad, upon him be peace, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he brought the Quran. This Quran not only is a guidance, but a proof and evidence for its own guidance. That's what we are after, because if a book simply claims it's from God, why should I believe in it? Imagine the, imagine the author of Harry Potter wrote, Harry Potter is from, is from God. I wouldn't believe in it. Listen, so, I appreciate you making your point, my man. Thank you so much for your time. Anyway, yeah. it was lovely talking to you. Lovely talking to you as well. Nice talking to you. Perhaps we can talk again another time. Do you have, have a copy of the Quran? Have you ever read the Quran? I, I, I have one. I have read some of it. I, no, I have one. I can give it to you. Can I, can I get, give, give another one? Because, okay. because we could thank not... Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you for your time. You take care. Yeah, thank you. I want to I wanna give you a copy. What I'm okay. saying is, because we haven't talked about the proof and evidence for the Quran, let the Quran speak for itself. What's the evidence is in there? Thank you. All the best. That. Take care. What's Islam's view of heaven? <laughs> Islam's view of heaven is you will get whatever you wish and you desire. Something like this in the Quran. I forgot on the ayah. Whatever you wish will be provided, and whatever you seek for, you ask for, will be provided. That means it's a reward system for your desires, and it will be provided for you, and, and you would not want to come away from it.